Hi everyone. Today we're going to be creating these three dimensional mini paper sculptures, which can be used in your planets. So I have a yellow one right here. I made it out of construction paper, but you guys could make it out of white paper and color it. So I'm going to show you that method right now. So as you can see, I already have one, two, three, four circles that I just used by using a cap of an old ice cream container and a pencil. And I'm just tracing around. For one mini planet, you need to have at least four circles. I'm making six, but you really only need four to create it. You can use as many as you want though. For the one that's yellow that I created right here, I used about 10 circles. So it looks a little bit more like a ball and you could use anything in between like four and 10. So I have six circles here. You are going to color it. So I'm just using some orange and yellow and I'm going to color my circles. I already colored some as an example, which I'll show you. So you don't have to watch me color. So here I just did some uh, spirals and I am just gonna color my last one. So I'm coloring my, whoops, I'm coloring my whole circle and it doesn't matter if I go outside of the line because I'm gonna be cutting these circles out anyways. So, I have my six circles. I only need four of them. So we are going to cut these out. Like I said, it doesn't matter. I'm going to cut them out into individual pieces first to make it easier for myself to cut. So... I really could also line them up because I made them even. And I'm just gonna cut my circles out. Being very careful. All of these circles are going to create our planet. So I have two there. You really only need paper, white paper, you could use construction paper, but you don't need to. You could always just use white paper and then color it with whatever colors you want. If you wanted to use two separate pieces of construction paper, like yellow and orange, you could. So I have four right there, I'll, color, I'll cut my last two. These are really easy to put together and it creates a really cool 3D sphere. I know everyone's learning about all of the solar system. So last one. And you will need some glue. And if you wanted to hang these, you could use some string. So I have my six planets. We are going to take, not six planets, or six circles, I'm sorry. We are gonna take each circle and fold them in half. So I am folding so the colored part is on the inside. So as you can see, it looks just like a little duck mouth, but the colors are on the inside. The white part is on the outside. So I fold one, I'm gonna fold all of them. And we should have six little duck mouths. All right, so I don't need my scissors anymore. All I need is glue. So I am going to be taking each of these pieces and gluing them together to make my sphere. So all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my glue I'm going to squish down one of the pieces I folded 
and I'm just going to outline the edge with glue. And I could do it in a pattern. I could do yellow, orange, yellow, orange. I'm just going to take my other piece and mirror it to the side and fold it over so it matches up. So I have the start of my sphere, as you can see right here. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to fold it over again, put some glue on the edges, and this mirrors it, and I'm going to fold it over and match it up. So you can see it's a beautiful start to my piece. If I added a fourth one right here, that would already create a three-dimensional circle. So you could just use four, but I have six. So I'm gonna put six of them together. So I'm going to put glue down, match it up again, just flip it over, and make sure they're glued together. So I just have two more sides left. And my last one, I'm gonna have to put glue on both sides because I need this piece to stick to both sides to create my sphere. So I could just put my paper down flat. So I have my planet, I put it down flat. I could just put glue on both sides and take my last circle and place it down and match it up with the edges. I could just do that, that's probably easier. So I'm going to bend all of these and make sure they're evenly spaced apart. Sorry about that making sure they're evenly spaced. And you have just created a planet. If you wanted to create Saturn, you could put another piece of paper wrapped around your circle. You could put a piece of yarn and wrap it around. And these look really cool. You could put a hole in the top and hang it up. You could put them on black paper and have them all around in different areas in the solar system, however far they are away from the sun. So this is my example with a few more. Homemade coloring versus construction paper.